Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back. Glad to have you here. And today we are talking about 12 very bad habits in Escape from Tarkov. Some of them I've noticed it even on myself. And because of these habits, you are losing more fights in Escape from Tarkov. You are dying more often in EFT. Let's start with number one, fire mode check. And this one is quite easy. If you want to play any weapon in fully automatic, make sure you have the right fire mode selected. And especially this one is happening to me very often recently. I do not know why, especially to the VSS. I forgot to check the fire mode after I spawned. So it's very important that you get a certain routine in checking the fire mode after you spawn and right after you picked up some weapons. Same goes with checking the magazines. I would say it's kind of the same, checking the fire mode and the magazines. As I said, this one happened to me very often recently. Number two is instant looting after you killed something or somebody. It's quite simple to solve that. You have to follow our golden rule in Escape from Tarkov. There is always another one. Always, always you have another enemy, maybe another opponent, squad mate or something else. You always have another opponent. And what that means is quite simple. After you killed the first guy or the second guy, just wait a little bit, flank a little bit, reposition yourself. And that's very important to check and secure the location. Save the area first before you start looting. It's so important. You will die so many times just because you rushed instant to the scav boss, you killed Rashala, you rushed instant to Rashala or anything else, enemies or whatever. Stop instant looting, wait a little bit more and then start looting. It's so important, I can't repeat it, how important the instant looting or to avoid instant looting is. Number three is quite similar, instant firing. What that means is you see the first guy or you see the first opponent and you are start firing immediately and that's quite bad because most of the times they have some squad mates and you don't have any information about the other guys. How many, how well are they equipped and so on and so on. So if you have the good area or the good position, you can go crouch or you can go prone, wait a little bit if you can and then start firing. It's way better than start firing immediately. Get more information, informations are important and make a plan how you can flank them. So number four is very, very bad, but it's happening quite a lot. No healing in pockets, because if you kill something, you can't heal with the stuff from the guy you killed. So that's the reason why some guys are not playing with healing in their pockets. They have only healing in their safe containers and that means you can't heal that fast and that's so bad because the reason for that is I have my own healing material I don't need your healing stuff so I don't care about your healing in your pockets I can heal myself I can heal myself with my own thing and this one is also a little bit of a mindset that if I go into a raid I will die and that's very very bad so play with some certain and some good healing in your pockets because your opponent will most of the times have their own healing. So stop this, no healing in pockets. Number five, also very important, bad ammunition. I would rather grab a stock weapon with the best ammo than the best attachments on my weapon with the worst ammo. Let's say stock M4, I would play the stock M4 with some 995 or, set, or some 855A1 instead of having a meta M4 with 855. So it's very important that you spend your ruble into very good ammunition. You don't have to have the best, you don't have to have 995 all the time, but you should consider playing 855A1 or some equivalents in some other calibers. So don't save your rubles on ammunition. Ammunition is very, very important. Number seven, and I made a single video about this topic, tag lights. You can see them very often during a raid, you can see them very often on some builds if you killed your opponent, but they are not using their tech lights. Tech lights are so important, so underrated, and you will bother your enemies so well with tech lights. Use them. You have to use your tech lights, and I will link my video about tech lights right here somewhere. Check my video out about tech lights. You have some nice tactics with tech lights. They are so well, and they will help you a lot. Number eight is just a small one, but this one can be quite crucial, wearing glasses. And the reason for that is that glasses are in Escape from Tarkov on some maps or in some situations very bugged. And you can see glasses in a very, very bright and shiny color. So your opponent will see you immediately. It's like you're wearing some lightning glasses and the result is that 
Your opponent, as I said, can see you immediately, they can see your head and they can one-shot headshot you immediately. On number 9 we have playing weapon like you looted them. For example, you killed some raider, you killed some scav bosses or some guards or even some opponents and you think, man, this is a very solid weapon, it looks cool, but in reality it's maybe really really bad, especially some raiders or some scav guards have some bad weapons or for example Rashala can have a decent MDR with very bad ammunition. Always check some decent builds, there are a lot of content creators, they give you some very good tips or dig yourself into some research and research which types of attachments are good for this certain weapon and improve your knowledge about Escape from Tarkov. Just loot some weapons and play them like you found it can be very bad in some situations. As I said, get some experience in Escape from Tarkov and improve yourself, this will help you a lot. Number 10, also very simple, shift W all the time because you saw it on Twitch, labs or in whatever situation and this one is also very very bad. You will lose a lot of awareness, you are loud as hell and in many situations it's not working, especially if you are not so familiar with PvP or with Escape from Tarkov, Shift W all the time will not help you, it will damage you a lot, so you shouldn't Shift W all the time. And on top of that, if you don't have any endurance anymore and if you get surprised by some opponents, you can't run away, you can't flank or you can't do anything because you don't have any endurance. So you should always keep a little bit of your endurance that you can run away if you get surprised by opponents and don't shift W all the time. It's as I said so loud, you will lose the awareness of your surroundings. Don't shift W, it's very bad in Escape from Tarkov. You should sprint if you have some open areas or if you're familiar with PvP in Escape from Tarkov and all the time, but as I said, don't shift W always. Number 11 is kind of mindset thing, never surrender. Even the worst player with the worst weapon can have some luck and one shot headshot the thickest chat with the best gear. Let's say if he has an Alton, of course it's very hard, but as I said, try to fight, try to play a little bit more aggressive, don't sit in corners, don't play very passive, because this is a disadvantage in how Tarkov works right now due to the netcode and due to the Pika's advantage. Try to play aggressive, this will help you and this will surprise you a lot and many times. And number 12, your looting time takes too long and I know that newer player or beginner need a certain time for looting. I know that it's very difficult to know which item has a certain value in the game right now, but try to learn some key bindings, some hotkeys, how to loot faster or let's say clear the area first or come back to your loot later on. Don't instant looting as I mentioned earlier. So be quicker in looting and learn the game that you know what to loot because looting is a very dangerous situation and try to keep it as fast as possible. So 12 very bad habits in Escape from Tarkov right now, which you should avoid immediately. Write in the comment section below what you think about it. And on top of that, we are producing a video about the golden factors in Escape from Tarkov like information, approach, ammo and all that stuff. So as always, like this video to show the world we Germans can win something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. Let's jump to the next one.